for example, in the next question here. In this case, same idea, I'm given the velocity, I'm given some different information. I've got this function here, that's important. But it tells me it's initially 2cm to the left of the origin. So I'm already thinking about what that actually means in the back of my mind. And I want to find a displacement after 5 seconds. Okay, Callum, how should I start this one? Um, you need to find... Wait, what? Find the displacement. Yeah. Okay. So you'll do the integral of uh, v. Exactly right. So I've got... I want to find x, and I know that's equal to the integral of v with respect to t. So that's, I'm going to be integrating this function here. Nothing too difficult. Have a go at that for me. Someone got it? Shout it out if you got it. The primitive? Yeah. Uh, t squared plus t. No, sorry, t cubed plus t squared plus t plus t. Okay. Now, be careful here. I think, like, my t's and pluses are starting to look really similar. Yeah. So I want to write a really long t and then a really yeah, small yeah, plus. Do Don't put a curve at the bottom. Oh, curve at the bottom. Okay, let's go with that. Yeah, that's better. Why is it 2t squared, sir? Oh, sorry, yeah. Come on, sir. Wait, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just confusing myself with these t's. t squared plus t. Plus three. Good. Okay. And it doesn't matter, you know, how complex this is starting to look. We can always use the information we're given. So I know it's initially. So anytime I'm thinking initially, I'm thinking t equals to zero. Two c to the left. <coughs> so. Yeah. Good. When t is equal to zero, right? You're thinking if it's to the left of the origin, I'm, I've got a negative displacement. Exactly right. Your x value will be negative two this time. So like I said, it's really important that you understand what this language is actually talking about. If you just saw 2 and you substitute in x equals to 2 there, you're not going to get the right answer. You need to be able to understand this, um, this language here. And so I'll just substitute in those values. What about you, Ron? Don't worry if you want. You might need to find displacement or something. And so in this case, c is going to be equal to negative 2. Well, I need to do that. I can move on and display And so... And, and that's why I say it's important to be looking at these constants, right? In this case here, c was equal to zero. So, you know, in a sense, it didn't matter if I forgot the plus c, I just didn't tack it on, right? But in this case, c actually has a value, right? And so if I forgot to Love have that constant there, if I forget to add that constant on there, I'm not going to get the right answer when I ultimately try Oh, yeah, because it's initially to... Uh, yeah, sense. so what's my displacement function now? Well, it's going to be this whole thing here, t cubed plus t squared plus t... Minus 2, because I know what C is now. Um, and I want to find the displacement after 5 seconds, so what do I need to do then? Five, 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 six, That's it. Oh, you need them. Substitute <laughs> <in> the values. <laughs> it's all in April. Hey, I'll show you. I'll what, what was the answer for this one? Can someone show that? Oh. You got 153, did I get yeah. it right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now this one they actually give you units here, so CM. And remember, because it's positive, we're looking at the right side. Right side. Do we need a right, right side and left side after So, side? this is where you need to be careful. In these questions, all they've asked for is the displacement. If they've asked for some more detail, you need to prepare to give that. Okay, but if they're just asking for the displacement, leaving the So if it's positive, it's right side, if it's negative, it's the left side. That's it. Okay, so. Any questions on that? No.